it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below of some sort okay your relationship is not being able to reach that <coughs> point of commitment or stability okay you probably are thinking long term with this person you want long term with this person but this person probably seems to be someone who's non-committed all right which is why there has been a separation or a disconnection of some sort in the past there was a lot of passion here with the queen of wands here someone was doing what they were very passionate about and following what they wanted to do there was a lot of uh, attraction in the past okay in the near future i feel that there's someone here who's choosing to keep not make a decision someone's ignoring a decision here okay that needs to be made which is making the other person feel left out or which is keeping the other person on hold is what i'm getting you're dealing with someone who probably has a lot of love for you okay uh, but this person could be someone uh, who's either struggling financially, but someone, you know, who's always wanting to be portraying to be single and non committal This person now out here is coming towards you. They are um, wanting commitment for, for sure, okay? Because in their emotions, they have a lot of love for you, okay? They do. They're probably just not the best at showing it. What you're doing, I think, is with the four of swords here, I think you're taking a break. You're doing a lot of thinking of this person, okay? But I think you're in no communication. I don't even think you want to talk to this person. You're healing from this situation, all right? There's like a time out. However, with the Knight of Pentacles here, I do see someone coming in towards you as the outcome here. We'll see if this is you moving out of this person's life or this person coming in towards you, okay? But we'll see. What's the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here? Why is this the overall energy for Libra? This is from February 8th to 14th, 2021, all right? Let's see. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here as the overall energy for Libra? All right. <clears throat> There's a lot of defensive energy here, okay? Someone standing their ground. <coughs> Someone that you had an ending with, right? Definitely a person here who's coming back towards you, Okay. With a hermit in reverse, the ten of swords in reverse, and the nine of pentacles in reverse. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse twice here. So definitely someone who was okay being single, who was choosing to be single, acting single, or just very focused on their independence, or someone who was very scared to lose their independence, right? Someone out here who you felt very backstabbed, betrayed by, they're coming back. They're coming out of isolation. They're wanting to talk. They're wanting to revive this situation, okay? Definitely, but you're being very defensive with the seven of wands here. I don't I don't really think that you are going to let this person in. You're standing your ground, okay? You're protecting yourself from this person. Does is there a need to protect yourself from this person? Is something else to think about because the seven of wands is usually the energy of someone where you're just defensive because of your past experiences. Okay. So yeah, sometimes what happens is because you're being so guarded and so defensive, you may you lose out on an opportunity. Uh, or it could just be a missed opportunity, okay? All right, what's the two of cups in reverse here? <clears throat> what's the two of cups in reverse? Yeah. So you're being shut down after this breakup here, okay? You're emotionally very, very shut down. <coughs> <clears throat> With the Fool, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Cups in reverse here. Now, there has been, like I said, there's been a disconnection, okay? You're wanting to take this leap of faith. You're taking a risk because this person involves a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, okay? They bring too much drama in your life, too much competition. You probably have to fight for your position with this person or you're just constantly, you know, uh, bickering, fighting, arguing. You guys are just not on the same page. So you're choosing to shut off to this person, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone who is emotionally unavailable. But I feel you're choosing to withdraw your energies from this person, okay? And you want you to take a risk. I feel this is you who's trying to get away from this relationship, okay? And you're choosing to start all over again from scratch on your own, okay? What's the two of wands in reverse? <clears throat> What's the two of wands in reverse? Give me one more card for the two of wands in reverse. We 
have the page of wands with a queen of pentacles in reverse and the three of cups. Looks like there is an opportunity here where there can be a reconciliation, okay? There is some good message coming in. There is someone here who wants to take a very light-hearted approach to the situation, okay? The page of wands, it is good news. It is communication, okay? It is good communication. But this is someone initiating communication very enthusiastically, very excited about this, okay? They want to take a new direction or a new approach towards this entire situation and wanting a reconciliation. But there is someone here, you are not going to make a decision is what I'm getting. You're just sitting there on the fence, okay? Not doing anything about it, okay? It's like, you know, you need to make a decision. You're one foot in, one foot out, okay? But I guess you're just holding back. Okay, you're just avoiding making a decision. You're not making up your mind, okay? Because with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel you're fed up of investing your energies into this person. You've come out, you're coming off as someone who's very nurturing, very caring, very practical, grounded, someone who wants something stable, long-term, very traditional. You're fed up of this person because they gave you that love. So there was this two of cups, that fairy tale relationship, okay? It's very good till the emotions are there. But when it came to putting a label on this connection, that's when they backed out, okay? And you gave in your all, but now this time you're just being very ruthless with this person, okay? Which is why you're making this person wait. Like I said, right? Hermit in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse, ten of swords in reverse. Someone who you had a breakup with is getting back to you, okay? It's coming back to you for sure. They're coming out of that isolation. They want to revive this connection, okay? Whatever ending you had with this person, they're healing, okay, and they're ready to be in a relationship with you. But I don't know, you're not choosing to be with them. All right, tell me about this person. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? <clears throat> yep. Someone loves you, wants you, and this is someone who you thought things were not fair with, okay? It was a very one-sided situation with this person that you were dealing with. Either this person could have... Okay, now I'm going to give you like a hundred scenarios here, okay? But you're going to have to choose what resonates most with you. We have the justice in reverse here, the lovers upright with the three of pentacles in reverse. Definitely dealing with someone who you were just hitting a wall with, okay? You always thought you were the only one putting on the work, okay? You were putting in all the effort. They never appreciated you for the work that they put in. But I feel that to me, this is someone, you know, who did put in the work or probably they didn't put in enough is what you thought because this person thinks that you are too much work, okay? They could be someone here, you know, who thinks you're out of their league, yeah? Which is why there was this some sort of... Um, um, you know, that feeling of something is unfair, okay? Something is wasn't morally right, okay? So, yeah. This is someone who was just not doing things the right way because they thought probably you were out of the league, okay? There was too, you were too much work. They couldn't put in the effort. They couldn't match your uh, energies or something like that. But with the lovers, yeah, this person is choosing you. They're choosing you. They want you. They love you. They know who they want. This is a strong soulmate twin flame connection, you know? And they want you. They're choosing you, that's for sure. Okay, this person is making a choice and they want you. We have the Nine of Swords here. They're, they're having sleepless nights. This person can't sleep. They're in panic mode. They're stressing. But what I don't like is with the Nine of Swords here, this is someone who will ponder, ponder, ponder and not take any action, okay? So yeah, it's like, yeah, I choose you. But then what are you doing about it? Nothing. Okay, what's the Queen of Cups here in reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Sorry, upright in the emotions. Why is the Queen of Cups here? <clears throat> Why is the Queen of Cups here? In their hopes and fears, they're hoping that you will love them. Okay, or you will continue to love them and continue to give them what they want. See? See? Wow, this is so beautiful. Look what they have in their emotions. The Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands. This person can't wait. They got no chill, babe. They want this and they want this now. They want the, the family. They want longevity. They want long term. They want marriage. They want commitment. You say it and they want it, okay? They want public recognition. They want that harmony, okay? They want that stability, that home security, everything. And with the Eight of Wands here, they want it now. They want it now. They're in a hurry to move things to the next level. Okay, and the emotions, that's how badly they love you. Okay, but the hammer in reverse here, this is definitely someone here who's had some kind of an epiphany, a kind of a realization, okay. So this person could have put you on hold. They could have put things on a pause, okay, which kind of frustrated you. But they finally had some kind of realization. They've gathered the knowledge. They've had that spiritual knowledge, okay. There's some kind of psychic guidance that they have and they're coming out of that uh, no action mode and they're ready to come towards you. Hermits, 
and the hangman. I'm constantly getting isolation, okay? Someone who ghosted you, someone who's just withdrawn from you. What's the Knight of Pentacles here? What's the Knight of Pentacles? Who's the Knight of Pentacles? Who is the Knight of Pentacles? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too many cards. All right. Let's do this. Let's see. We have the Temperance, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Hangman in reverse, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Definitely someone here, okay, who's ready to take action towards you, okay? But uh, the thing out here is that this person with the Ten of Cups here, they see you as the happily ever after. They're ready to put in the work. They're ready to put in the effort, ready to work on this connection, okay? By working on themselves is how they feel they will get better into this connection, okay? Now, Eight of Pentacles is hard work, okay? So they insist on working very strongly on this, okay? Temperance here, they want a reconciliation. But the problem here is this person is still coming off as someone, you know, who's like the Knight of Wands in reverse here. So this person is still a little insincere in their energies, okay? A little in and out, in and out, in and out. Which is with the Knight of Pentacles here making things very, very slow, okay? You may literally feel like you're getting strung along in this connection. This person's coming in with an offer, something very committed, something very solid, okay? Very concrete. They want all this with you, okay? But with the difference here, I feel things are not going to be moving as fast as you want them to. It is in their emotions, it's running fast, but that's just the feelings, right? As the outcome here, the offer is coming in, but it's going to take like forever to come in. The point is, what are you going to do while this offer comes in? Are you going to wait for them? Are you going to move on? Are you going to work on yourself? Because I see you as a four of swords here. You're thinking about the situation, but you're doing nothing about it. It's more like you're just waiting, but you're not communicating with this person. They want to work on this connection, okay? They love you. They see you as the happily ever after here. It's just that little unpredictable, insincere energy. That's the way they're coming off as towards you, okay? Because this person, I feel, from the Knight of Wands in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles, this person's going to take some time to grow up, okay? It's still a Knight, but at least I like the Knight of Pentacles because this is someone who's still very stable. They have commitment on their mind, but they're going to take their own time, okay? Someone very strategic, okay? They have their own plan and they don't like to rush things. That's the only thing that's the problem here. Knight of Pentacles and Temperance here, it's going to be in divine timing, Okay, so they have that kind of a realization. They know what they need to do, but they're going to take the time, babe. They are. Now, it's going to be up to you whether you want to wait for them or not. Okay, so it's all about the right time. Yeah, it is. So that's what I have for you, Libro. That was a lovely reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.